In today's video, I've been asked to do a video on projections in our industry for the next five years. So I put together a list of my five projections, what I think is going to happen over the next five years uh, in our industry, in trucking, primarily in uh, cross-border trucking. Um, so here it goes. So my first prediction, uh, electric trucks over the next five years are going to hit a home run in our industry. The Tesla is working on a truck that's supposed to be coming out in 2021. I do think like it might be delayed. Uh, probably maybe in the earlier of 2022 it, come, it will come out and also Nikola is a big one that I keep looking at that I think is going to be a game changer. Um, it's going to start off in the US and hopefully it's going to come into Canada. The second biggest expense that we as trucking companies have is gas. So if we can eliminate gas and kind of convert into electric uh, or hydrogen, uh, I think that the trucking world is going to see a huge difference in expenses. It might drive rates down, it might even drive rates up. We, I don't know what that's going to happen, but definitely it's going to make a big, big difference on fleets. Um, and I actually see that the governments will throw incentives for fleets uh, to convert their trucks into, um, into electric or hydrogen. Safety wise, I think that an electric truck uh, would be a lot uh, safer just because of the uh, the way it works with the center of gravity and the weight. Uh, I think that the technology is a lot more advanced in electric trucks uh, that is going to be. I really think that Tesla did a great job with its with its cars, and I really think that the technology in the Tesla cars are far superior than than regular cars out there. I actually think that the diesel trucks will step up their game in 2020 to 2023 once these electric trucks come out. Uh, today we see trucks that are averaging about eight or nine miles per gallon. I really see, you know, Volvo and Freightliner or, or Packard that they're going to be upping their game. I definitely see that their trucks are going to somehow go into 11, 12, 13 miles per gallon. I really feel like this technology was there and these companies purposely limited the, uh, the fuel consumption on these trucks. I think too many people were making a lot of money off of fuel. The fact that electric trucks are going to come out is really going to make these guys step up their game. My second prediction, so rates for company drivers. I really feel that, um, that there's going to be a change in the market over the next five years. I think that some, some companies are, have already started dabbling on hourly rates for company drivers. Um, I think there's going to be a big movement in the next two or three years where company drivers are going to start getting paid hourly. Uh, just like local drivers do, I think that cross-border drivers are going to start getting paid hourly also. Um, just like uh, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, there was a big movement for owner-operators from gross pay into mileage pay. Uh, Fifteen years ago, it wasn't so common that an owner-operator would get paid uh, per mile. Uh, now, I think it's very uncommon now that a uh, owner operator or lease operator get paid gross. I think all the companies, a lot of the, the big companies have converted into mileage pay. Now it's the new norm. So I really think the new norm for company drivers uh, is going to be hourly pay and not per mile pay. Prediction number three, shortage of cross-border drivers. So the reason that I feel like there's going to be a real big shortage of cross-border drivers or long-haul drivers is because people are afraid to come into uh, trucking. A lot of people believe that self-driving trucks are around the corner and I truly do not believe that they're anywhere near that for self-driving trucks. In the next five years there's not going to be self-driving trucks nor do I feel like there's, it's going to be in the next 10 years. Um, I think that that's maybe a, a goal for 10 to 15 years from today where we'll see self-driving trucks. Uh, so this is really scaring new drivers to get into the market because they feel like they're only going to get into it for the next five or six years. So I really see that the average rate per mile or hourly rate is definitely going to go up for cross-border and long-haul drivers. So today we see averages of between 50 to 55 cents per mile uh, drivers that are working on, on payroll. I see that climbing up to about 60 to 70 cents per mile, which is going to be the new norm over the next uh, three, four and five years. 
Um, I see the new norm is going to be about 60 to 70 cents for drivers going long haul uh, and drivers going to the East Coast like New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. I mean, today I think the norm is between 65 to 70 cents per mile. I really see that going up to about 80 cents per mile over the next five years. Uh, rates. So talking a little bit about rates. So where we were 10 years ago, um, I really don't think that there's been a big change in rates. So if you're looking at a market from uh, 10 years ago, what uh, certain lanes paid, whether it's Toronto to Atlanta, Atlanta to Toronto, um, even Illinois, Wisconsin, Tennessee, uh, inbound and outbound rates, they haven't changed significantly. I know that the, the produce season is lasting less and less. Uh, before we used to have, you know, in the produce season, uh, rates would go up for about three, four months, they would be crazy. And now maybe you're lucky if you get, uh, you know, an increase in rates for about a month or maybe five, six weeks. In the last 10 years, the rates haven't significantly increased. They've increased maybe a little bit, maybe five, seven percent. Uh, they've increased, but nothing, nothing drastic. So where they were 10 years ago, where they are today, pretty much the same at par. So I do think the rates in the next, within the next five years, because of the shortage uh, of of drivers, um, I see that the rates will hike up a little bit more. Um, the bad thing about our industry is that you know. Trucking companies, for year over year, they're buying more and more and more trucks. Um, and when a fleet grows from 100 trucks to 150 trucks, or a fleet of 200 trucks grows to 300 trucks, and we know, I mean, I myself know a lot of trucking companies out there that have significantly increased their, their fleet size over the last five years. What it's doing is that there's more trucks that are doing the work instead of less trucks. If there were less trucks, it would definitely drive up the, uh, you know, the, the rates, it, it would shoot up the rates. But because these fleets are increasing the size of their fleet, it's not allowing the rates to go up that high. So everything is kind of staying the same. The, my last prediction is about insurance, the insurance market. Um, I think that over the next five years, we can see uh, at least a 30, 35% increase in premiums for insurance. Uh, the reason that I believe this is because uh, claims in the U.S., um, maybe not so much in Canada, but we do see it in Canada that the average claims are, um, the price per claim is definitely going up in Canada. But in the U.S., I mean, you get a spill or if you get a truck rollover, if there's, you know, somebody involved in an accident, you're looking at a claim of five, 10, 15 million dollars easily. Um, and these numbers are only going up and up. They're not, they're not going down. The average price per claim in the U.S. is definitely skyrocketing. And that's why uh, manufacturing companies today, I, I see it very often that they want to see a $5 million coverage, a $10 million coverage, a $15 million coverage. They really want to see that trucking companies have uh, the coverage, um, you know, their general liability. And it's not like uh, 10, 15 years ago where they wanted to see a million or, 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 or three million dollars used to be, I think, uh, you know, an upgrade. Today, I think the norm, I think the, the basic is five, and, but, but, but a lot of big manufacturing companies want to see at least 10 um, on your insurance. Uh, well, there you go. So those are my five predictions. I'll just recap them. So number one is the, uh, the electric trucks are definitely going to come in uh, and be a huge game changer in, our, in the trucking industry. The rates per mile for company drivers, I believe that that's going to go from uh, mileage pay to hourly pay. Uh, shortage of cross-border drivers is going to play a role on the rates per mile. Uh, so the miles, I believe, is going to the rate per mile for company drivers are going to go up. The rates, uh, I do believe that the rates are going to go up, uh, not significantly, but the rates will go up a little bit, maybe about 10%. And then the insurance market, I really think is going to go up about 30, 35% for premiums. Uh, well, there you have it. I mean, hopefully we can look back at these uh, predictions five years to, from today and we'll, uh, we'll definitely look at them and see if I was right, if I was wrong. I mean, maybe I could be right on a few of them, could be wrong on a couple of them. But this is really what I believe in uh, that's going to happen in the trucking market over the next five years. If you like these kind of videos, subscribe to our channel and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.